Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Joyce here again for you guys today. Today we're going to do a different video, okay? We're going to be talking about fragrance. I actually did a video like this um, a few months back and I will link that video in the cards above. In that video, I tried on pantyhose and I matched the pantyhose to particular fragrances. This time around, I'm straight up doing a fragrance review. That's it. I'm a big lover of fragrances. I've just gotten back into them. I have purchased a lot, I have sampled a lot, and I figured maybe some of what I've learnt might be useful to you guys. So if that's something that you're interested in watching, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button so you can be part of my channel and also hit the bell so that you are notified the next time that I upload a video. And without any further ado, let's get into it. So today I'm straight up reviewing a fragrance, but I'm reviewing the fragrance in my pantyhose as you can see so today's pantyhose of choice come from Trasperens. um i believe the style is kimono but i will link the video where i did an official review on them up in the cards above so you can check them out but these are honestly some of my favorite and now that we're entering we are entering um autumn time i guess you can call it it's starting to rain here in the uk okay <sighs> the weather is abysmal but now that we are entering a slightly cooler season uh, I'm able to wear them a little bit more because they're a little bit thicker, they're a little bit more insulating and as you can see from the bows, they're definitely a lot of fun. So those are the pantyhose that I'm wearing today and the fragrance that we are talking about today comes from a relatively new fragrance house. They were actually established maybe in the last, I think five years, four or five years, something like that, whereas most fragrance houses have been established for 50 years plus. <laughs> 20 to 50 years so they're relatively new on the market however the nose behind this perfume house is a very notorious one because of the fact that he has lent his talents to many 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 well-known fragrances in the market um, the most famous one that he's known to have created is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans I will put a picture up here so you can see what it looks like if you smell that then you have definitely experienced a little bit of his talents. So I got into his brand, I've been experimenting with lots of his fragrances, I have purchased a few, and I've definitely sampled a lot. So today we're gonna to talk about one of the ones that I'm a big fan of, and the fragrance. Did I even mention the perfume house that we're talking about? The perfume house we're talking about today is Maison de France's Jan Paris. The fragrance we are referring to today is called Amorous Home. Now this is just a little sample that I have in my hand. If you go to his website, you can order yourself a sample pack. You can actually pick your samples, which I think is excellent. It's about 14 euros, so I'm not too sure what that is in dollars. But um, very efficient shipping, I found. And from that, you'll be able to sort of know how they wear on your skin. And then you'll know whether or not you want to go ahead and purchase a full size. Plus, you can use the credit. So the amount that you paid on the sample pack is basically a credit that you can use towards a full size purchase. So I think that's great. So I picked up the sample of Amorous Home. Amorous Home is actually the sister or the brother fragrance to Amorous Femme. So a lot of um, MFK's fragrances will come in Pour Homme and Pour Femme. Um, a lot of them are very, very unisex as well. So essentially you can almost like just pick a fragrance and you'll be okay to wear it whether you're into male fragrances or female fragrances. But this particular one is Amorous Homme. Now the reason why I really like this fragrance is because it contains some of my absolute favorite, like favorite, favorite, favorite fragrance notes. So for example, this one has Tonka Bean. I love Tonka Bean in the dry down. When a fragrance has Tonka, especially in the dry down, it's, it smells really great on me. It kind of reminds me of a deep earthy cocoa bean you know kind of chocolatey but not really but kind of waffly kind of sweet I don't know I just really like that note so it definitely has tonka bean from Brazil it also has uh, amorous from Jamaica which I've never smelt singularly but it smells really good in this and iris from Florence iris is actually one of the most expensive uh, notes that you can find in any perfume just because of the amount of iris flower that you need to get together to be able to make the actual oil itself so if you find iris iris absolute in fragrances they're usually going to be a little bit on the pricey side but it's definitely for good reason because they'll smell amazing and i love iris in any fragrances so i've been lucky enough to actually try amorous pour homme and amorous pour femme but i prefer 
the pour home version actually because this one has a note of spicy vanilla which the pour femme one doesn't so that vanilla note is another one of my absolute favorite and because this is pour home it's for you men okay so if you really like oh this is the extract version as well mm, i didn't realize it okay so let me describe the fragrance for you guys i'm just gonna actually spray it on my skin because I've worn this quite a few times, so I'm okay with it being on my skin. This one, to me, oh, so good. This one, to me, is a nostalgic take on aftershave, but a young version of aftershave. It's definitely kind of citrusy in the top. It kind of smells a little bit like lemon, a little bit like mandarin orange. But it's also quite sweet because of that vanilla that you've got in there. And because it is a spicy vanilla, just imagine vanilla with a little bit of peppercorn or black pepper, that kind of vibe. That's what you get from this. So this is the effect of like you've just shaved your beard, you know, you've done all your grooming for all you men out there. And then you've gone in with your moisturizers, but you just added a little bit of a sweet sweet little something something on there and i love it so this is one of the male fragrances that i'm like i actually really want to get this because i think it just it smells so good and i can only imagine what it would smell like on you men it will probably smell so freaking good it's also quite light because of the iris in there is there jasmine in this hold on let me check no jasmine from the card maybe there is but slightly florally but definitely on the fresh side, maybe just with a little bit of neroli, I can't tell. But it definitely smells really, really fresh, as if you've just taken a really, really fresh shower, and you've gone in with this, you've got a crisp white shirt on, and maybe some jeans, you're getting ready to go out, to hang out with the guys, hang out with the fellas, you know what I mean? That is what this smells like, with a hint of warmth and sweetness. So, Amaris Pour Homme is definitely one of my favourites. I would highly, highly recommend this for all of you guys who are interested in a new fragrance to pick up. So I may have mentioned this, but this is a relatively new perfume house. They're a little bit on the expensive side, so definitely sample them before you buy them. But if you're looking for a really, really cool fragrance, I think this is the one. And you can't go wrong with MFK because he has some amazing, amazing fragrances. So check him out. Alright guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed that video of me reviewing the MFK fragrance. Let me know down in the description section what fragrance you'd like me to review next, especially if it is a cologne or men's fragrance. I'm in the market for wearing them because I actually do like how they smell like on me. But otherwise, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Once again, I will link the review video that I did on these fabulous tights in the description section and in the cards above. Check me out on Instagram and everywhere else where you can find me. All of my information will be down below. Hopefully you're doing well wherever you are and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.